Oh, it's just gone midnight and Lila is definitely in labour, so we should have some puppies with us very soon, which is very exciting. The first sign that the pups are on their way was when Lila started to become restless and nest in her whelping box. Our team are always on hand for the pup's birth, the puppy midwives, if you will. So all of our puppies have arrived. It is now nearly six o'clock in the morning and she has had four puppies. Um, we have three boys and one girl. And everyone is nice and settled, so we will just leave them be today. Lila was an excellent mum. She didn't leave the pups at all for the first few days. My little boy Harvey was instantly in love with the pups and got to help pick the names for them. This one is a raisin and this one's a Ralph here, the black one. And this one who's got a um, raisin's butt on the head is Rupert. So we've been weighing the puppies every morning and every evening to make sure that everyone is putting on weight, which they are. So everyone is very happy and very healthy, which we're really pleased about. Rusty, who else have they got? So they've all got their eyes open now. Yeah. That's really good. What about their ears? Their ears are starting. And how long do you think it'll be till their ears are open? Mm, I think by next week they'll all be open. Maybe by the end of the week. The pups are moving, seeing and hearing so much better within a couple of weeks. They certainly keep you on your toes. Even though mum looks after them really well, they still need constant support and supervision for the first few weeks, so not much sleep was had. By five weeks old, the pups have already started their worming treatments to make sure that they stay happy and healthy. We also do things like introduce them to a brush for grooming so that they get used to things that could happen to them when they are older. We've also had to start clipping their claws already. And their own little personalities are certainly starting to show through. Are you going to make him go through? So, little Rupee Rose is going to go through! Harvey and George love playing with the puppies and love having them around, but we've had to make sure that they understand that the pups aren't with us for long. Harvey has understood from the start that we've got them for eight weeks and then they are off to mummy's work to become hearing dogs. Rusty Moon! Who's that? Rusty! So today the puppies are going back to the Grange um, to, I'm crying already, um, to go off to their new socialisers and do their next bit of training. Um, I have to put on my working hearing dog's head and, and take the pups in and know that they will go off to the most wonderful homes uh, to, to do the most wonderful thing. So today is a sad day but it is a day that was always coming so I'm going to pull myself together at some point for probably about five minutes and then I'll probably be in tears again so um, I hope you enjoyed watching their journey. I certainly did um, and I can't wait to see what they are going to do for people in the future. <laughs> Keep an eye out for the next episode of Hearing Dogs TV. Hello, I'm Rusty. Sponsor me from just £3 a month to follow my training. Watch more at hearingdogs.org.uk forward slash HDTV.